皆さん今日は1月3日今日は1月3日です今日はジブリスタジオジブリ博物館に行きますけど今日はカーステンさんと私のレザーベーションは午前4時です。So it's later in the day. I was thinking about going to Beer Papa like right now because if you guys didn't know, we used to have Beer Papas a lot when I was a kid and they had stores back in Hawaii and then they closed down. And it's probably because it's not a very popular place and it made me really sad because I love Beer Papa. I remember when they used to be in Foodland stores before Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf was in Foodland stores. There, yeah, there used to be beer papas back in Hawaii. Mukashi, mukashi. There was beer papa stores all over Oahu. And then they closed down. And then around my high school time, they started having stores again. And, well, stores. They had a store in Ala Moana in the Makai food court. And they opened up near where the, the toddy candy factory was they were right next to each other and then they closed down again during covid i think because it wasn't popular and again a lot of smaller businesses a lot of smaller less popular stores were closing down during covid and so yeah we haven't had beer papa on the island since then and beer papa is a japan patissier little cream puff, shoe puff, bakery kind of place. Their, their specialties are cream puffs. And so I really love them. Beer Papa is truly one of a kind. And they had a store in the Shinjuku station, but Shinjuku station is a nightmare to navigate. And so the other day on the first, we I saw that there was a Beer Papa in Shibuya because we're already in Shibuya. And so I was like, oh, you know, I'm just gonna go and get a beer papa. And it said it was open, but I was like, it's kind of weird that they'd be open on New Year's Day, but it doesn't hurt to check. And then we found the beer papa station. It's, if you get off of the Hachi, if you get out of the Hachiko exit in Shibuya station, which by the way, I'm really sad that I didn't get a picture with Hachiko or of the Hachiko statue. So when I come and visit, I will, go then. I think it's just really crazy right now because it's New Year's and Christmas and winter break and everything. So it's really fucking crazy right now. If you get out of the Hachiko exit and then I believe if you Migi ni Magate there's another like stairwell to go underground to the metro and then there should be some shops over there like some food shops you know how they have like the the food malls the food streets underground in the station it was right there and they were closed and so i was thinking like oh like today's my last like real day i should go to shibuya and i should get a beer papa but i was like i'm so lazy like honestly i'm kind of burnt out from this trip so maybe later i might go but I just kind of want to chill before we go to the Jibuti Hakubutsukan. We're kind of packing everything right now. The room is kind of a mess. And I'm probably going to be leaving behind like shampoos and stuff like that. But I'm going to have to take on like makeup and whatnot. And my luggage is really stuffed. Like I put my puffer jacket in there, like my puffer down coat. When I open it up, my suitcase just like breathes. Like it just. It like breathes whenever I open the zipper. I'm gonna try and put as much as I can in there. I mean, zipper is a budget airline, so you have to expect the worst. The zipper only allows you to take on two carry on pieces, and it's probably the carry on luggage and the personal bag, but together they have to weigh around 15 to 16 pounds, seven kilograms. That's fucking crazy. So when you go into zipper, you can add an option for the 7 kilogram luggage, but you can also add on an option for an 8 kilogram additional luggage. So you have the 7 and the 8 kilogram luggage, so that's about 30-ish pounds for everything, which is 
a much more reasonable weight because I believe most airlines, or at least Hawaiian Airlines, I know their carry-on policy is 25 pounds. And that's a much more reasonable number than 15. Anyway, seven kilograms for two carry-on bags is a little bit a strict boundary. <sighs> yeah, I just need to pack my clothes, which are in there, which I'm gonna try and stuff in my regular bag, my checked-in bag. But that's gonna, that's gonna have to happen really early tomorrow morning, which means I need to set my alarms for tomorrow morning. We're leaving, I believe, at like 10, 10.30. We're taking a Shinkansen from Shinjuku to that goes straight to Narita, Narita Airport Terminal 1, which is where the zip air flights are. Our Shinkansen is around 12, I believe. This one looks different from my other Shinkansen ticket because my other Shinkansen ticket had a reservation because we had luggages that we needed to bring on board and when you have oversized luggages, checked in luggages, you have to reserve seats in the Shinkansen. This one looks different, but we were taking a different Shinkansen than we were before. Yeah, so I had to pack all my makeup, which is on the desk that you guys can't see. And I have to pack all of my cosmetics that I'm able to pack, leaving them behind shampoos and conditioners and stuff all my clothes and then I'm also gonna try and fit my trench coat in my checked in bag maybe I might put it in my regular bag I also need to make sure that I charge my new bluetooth earbuds which by the way these are awesome there is a little bit of a problem Ooh. so this part of the earbud I don't know if you guys can see it but this part of the earbud does dig into the top of my ear area right over here a little bit so it does hurt a little bit over time but it's definitely not terrible and the sound is really awesome and it has really long battery life and as airpods do when they when you sleep they do fall out <laughs> in the middle of the night so yeah these are really awesome i really like them so far really good sound quality upper volume buttons which is a single click on this side for lower and a single click on this side for raising the volume it does have a little bit of a lag time but other than that it's not bad at all i love the noise cancelling the noise cancelling is pretty good on this one i should i should show you guys the view outside of my window so there's this little latch right over here you can open it and then it opens out into the balcony. And this is the people. There's, this is like a balcony that we can actually step onto, but the door over here is very rusty and squeaky. So I don't believe we're meant to step out onto the balcony but it does have a little bit of a balcony area and this is the view i'm literally in a neighborhood and that's the street down over there and the main street is that way so there's we're on a corner you can turn right over here and we can go down to the main street but yeah this is the view from my window it's very cold <laughs> so I'm gonna close it now. There we go. I know I said I was gonna do an omiyage tour, but I already packed all my omiyage.
time I remember to actually go downstairs. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't know this whole time. This one's a shiitake hashi holder. Here's my beluga whale plushie. Here's her little eye. It's so sad. Here's my other whale. My little buddy that I won. Won. Also, they have this really awesome bag at Don Quixote. They don't have this one back at home, so I bought it. Oh my god, you guys. Y'all see this? Hi guys, grocery haul. Two of these for Kirsten's mom. One for tomorrow morning and one for tonight. So I'm gonna eat one of these now. I got two bunnies, which are gonna go in the fridge. We're leaving at 10 tomorrow. So I got the bunnies now because they open at 10. These are gonna go in the fridge. I was pissed. They're closed. The beer, barn you know, beer papa. <laughs> they're closed for the first three days of the year. We're going to Shinjuku Station and there's one at Shinjuku Station. Yeah, but I'm not, your gonna, I'm not gonna fucking navigate through Shinjuku Station when we need to catch our Shinkansen. Come on, beer papa. Here is my dinner, my gyudon. So this time, I think I told you guys. Wait, let me put my pudding in the fridge. The first time I went to Yoshinoyam, I didn't realize that there was a takeout window. And this time I went to the takeout window. And the reason it's confusing is because there's a sign outside and it's 100 percent in Japanese and in kanji. And I can't read it, but I could read the one tiny little kiragana part that says botan, which is button. And I'm assuming that's for takeout. And my cousin was like, oh yeah, when you want to order takeout from Yoshinoya, you press the button and you order at the window outside. And this time I just went up to the window and I felt a little weird because you have to open it first and then press the button. But I ended up opening up the window and it was like not weird to them and not weird to anyone else. So I was like, oh, maybe this is the right thing to do. But there was a guy standing there, but I pressed the button anyway. <laughs> there was a guy standing there, and it was the English-speaking worker from the first night that I went there. But he took my order, and then 
my order was ready within like a minute and then the first guy I spoke to when I went to Yoshinoya was the Japanese speaking guy that I said my Japanese is poor he helped me check out and get my change and I paid him and everything and yeah he was really happy to hear me speaking Japanese so I was like he was really sweet and he told me happy new year so I was like happy face I was like this bad boy I went shopping at family park here is Christian's third maple pancake thing I got this this should be interesting I'm gonna try it and then I got a chocolate drink for tonight and then another chocolate drink and oh it got all over the place but this is egg fried rice oh. and mobile tofu I'm gonna eat that for breakfast in the morning so we went to the Ghibli Museum today and that was the only place that we went to and honestly really underwhelming and also there's no footage or pictures or anything because we're not allowed to take pictures inside or videos it is a museum I don't know how to explain it but it's a museum so you can't really expect fun things I feel like it's not really that type of museum but when you hear museum you kind of have the notion that it's a sophisticated place to go and look at the art or look at whatever the museum is exhibiting and such some of the things that I saw though it was really nice there was a couple of the rooms that had some of the original drawings of Miyazaki and there was also like a gallery area that had like screen caps from the movies and those were really nice to look at the original drawings were really it's such a surreal feeling seeing them there was a lot of there was like this whole room that was dedicated to the boy and the heron and I think that room is dedicated to the specific type of newest movie that they have going on in the Ghibli franchise. Yeah, it was really sweet. It honestly is not like... It's a museum. It's not an amusement park. It's not meant to be like this super entertaining place. It's a place where you go to admire something. Sorry, I'm burping a lot. If you want to go to admire the drawings, it's a very nice place to go. It's really sweet and it's like this quiet little town on it it's really cute so i didn't really end up buying anything i bought a couple things that the uh, there's like a there's two gift shops one of them is for books and for like postcards and stuff and then one of them is like the actual like merch shop with figurines and keychains and pins and stuff like that i bought stuff at the postcard one and it was just these really sweet drawings of the ghibli museum as if it were in one of those animated movies Right after we got back, I went out to Shibuya because I wanted to go to get Beard Papa but the Beard Papa place is closed for the first three days of the year so I was pissed. So I didn't get my Beard Papa but I got to go back to the Shibuya Scramble Crossing and even though it's like really hectic, I like kind of enjoyed it. Like I just enjoyed being on the side and looking at everything and seeing all of the bright neon boards and all of the different people crossing and just watching everybody and listening to music and it was really nice it was just like a really nice feeling of being in the moment and I just sit, stood there for 10 minutes off the side and I got to see the Hachiko statue but the line to take pictures for it was fucking crazy and even going anywhere near it was fucking crazy so I wasn't gonna bother but I'll probably come back soon because flights can get up to as low as 250 round trip when you're flying from Hawaii and then I went shopping at Family Mart I went to Yoshinoya's I went to 7-Eleven and I went to this cute little bon mi stand and we're probably gonna head over to Shinokubo in a little bit to go and get some dessert I wanted a cro I want another croffle because the croffles are delicious I'm probably gonna head over there after I finish my Yoshinoya's dinner so アニリンハートの管理調査兵団に委ねられた。教師。うん。Oh wow. You guys, this is 
awesome. Yeah. It's like, this is tough. This is not a normal pudding. The other pudding I've been having is very jiggly and full of water. This is very dense. This is has much more eggs in it or less milk in it because you can definitely taste the custard. This is good. If you've ever made flan with the jello packets, like the flan jellos, that's kind of what this tastes like. This is interesting. Why didn't you just ask me to grab it? No. Bitch, I'm right here. Bitch, I'm right here. So you can grab my stuff for me, but I can't grab your stuff for you. Look at this. Chicken nuggets. These look kind of good, though. Oh, bro, it was at that place. Something I don't know, I don't know what it's called. Something basquetto. Basketball? I think it's like my basquetto or something like that. Yeah. It was it was all in katakana so I could read it. Wait, yeah, the last three I was like, um, that mother told for breakfast. Body walking in the house. Oh. And what's the soon and drink your apple juice, bro? Oh yeah, that's right. That's like another. Yeah, bro. I was like, no, people no, renting it are gonna drink it, bro. Bro. Personally, I would. Like mm. Did it really? Did it really say only that little? Have you ever made those um, puddings from the Jello, from the Jello packets? Oh yeah, dude, my mom used to have a bunch of like a lot. That's exactly what the 7-Eleven one tastes like. Oh. It's the exact same. Cold? Yeah. Okay. We'll do it in a minute. Body Bro, do it. 700 fucking watts for four minutes. I'm gonna nuke off this place on the 4th of July. Well, all of the children have to drink. <laughs> it's oh, getting oh, here. That's crazy. My only, oh no, it's not my only vending machine drink. My first vending machine drink, this apple juice. It's right on the street of our Airbnb.
customize things. 